Greetings, this is this and I am me, and there are some important changes. Critter moods have miserable and satisfied now. Pakus got changed, I don't do anything with those. And suit checkpoints now have an automation port to disable them so duplicates can pass through. Um, I like that change. But it says some checkpoints may now be unintentionally connected to existing automation wires. So I have to check to make sure that that's not the case. The other two changes, you guys can read through them totally. But like, I don't think that they really matter as much um, in terms of what we're looking at. But the, the suit checkpoints, I definitely want to check the automation here. Okay, nothing with those ones. We've got other suit docks down here. Nothing with those. Okay. We also have mask checkpoints. Okay, nothing there. And then we have some here. Okay, nothing there. But I must also check Yakani. We have some down here. Okay, these are the automation ports for that and it's not there. Right, good. I think that's it then, right? I think we are good to go. Okay, probably everything's fine. So. When we last left off, I had gotten the new hatches. Um, we were possibly considering doing something else here that was going to be helpful. Oh yeah, a farm sort of zone. Where was I planning on putting that? Oh, up here I already have these two things growing up here. Right, we have Sweetles now. Tending to more things than they were before. Across my colonies, so that is good. Okay, a printable... Probably do just want to go back to Yakani, give that to them. Let's choose a blueprint. Dirt! Sure. You already have 40 tons of that apparently, but take some more. So, okay. Why is it bad if we run out of polluted dirt? Because we were using that to make oxygen? But as long as we don't have to rely on that anymore, it's actually not that scary, right? We're now relying on rust in order to make oxygen for us, and that is sort of... Ah, uh, okay. The chlorine gas is not going anywhere that I wanted it to. Because it's still so heavy that it falls immediately, and is not getting picked up by this gas pump. Eventually we will get to that point, but for now this is all being flooded with chlorine gas, and I feel like that's a bit undesirable. The initial plan was to, to grab all the chlorine gas in it and put it in here. But it looks like this will sort of fill. And then once it's up to this point, we can start grabbing it and bringing it over here. But this will still be a pit. Unless I add an extra pump down here somehow. Okay. Yes. Sure. For now, I'll ignore it. <laughs> For now, I will ignore it because, yeah, what else do we have to do? So rust, I mean, it seems like there is a lot of rust as of right now. So it's not too... Uh, it's not too scary of a situation, right? Temperature is still a situ... Okay, yes, that's what we were working on. Okay. We're working on waiting to get this thing uncovered and opened up and... And uh, hopefully we can do something over there. What's going on over here as well? Dig that out. Is there anything up there? Is it just a random platform? I don't know. But yeah, we're working on maybe some sort of cooling system for this. And then also, yeah, do I, so do I want to get this on some sort of automation? I mean, they're always self-regulated to the degree that max gas, gas pressure stops them. But maybe I should automate it a little more. I... I don't really know. I guess for now, it'll just be whatever it is. Okay. Um, so, yes. If we're grabbing, or if we're uncovering that hydrogen thing, we have to think about setting up a hydrogen path to it, which we already have gotten started. Yes, okay. And the whole system has already stopped... But that's, it's fine. It'll, it'll kick right back up once the other side is connected. Okay, good. So the hydrogen is ready. The hydrogen is indeed ready. We just need to set up the other end of it. Well, this is exciting. Okay. 
So, initially, the hydrogen will come out of here and it needs to go up to the thing. It will be warm when that is happening. Do these guys have any serious, oh my god, <laughs> any serious temperature needs? Uh, I don't really know. Because we can just let the hot stuff go directly up this way and not, like, in in our colony. If it doesn't really matter if it gets a little warmer for them. But, if it does matter if it gets warmer for them, then it would be better if we actually brought the hot hydrogen further in towards our colony because it'd be easier to cool, you know the more central regions than to cool the extremities. Um, I think I'm just gonna send it through over here, though. <laughs> well, we'll go right along the edge of this so that they can reach it. Is this a good material to be building with? It's something I have a lot of, right? Okay, yes. They can reach this without having to dig through anything new or yada yada yada. Um... I mean, you went down, but wouldn't it be better to just go this way? Oh, wait, that's the other one. Okay, so I don't hook this up with that. Right, okay. So this, let's just go right along the ceiling. Let's go over here. And let's go... The new one's gonna come out this way and down. And it's gonna have to cross this pipe. So it'd be better if I bring this one up through here. Okay. And then we are going to have to cross at some point. So why don't we just do something like that? No, this is input. Yeah, we do. We Hydrogen goes in. Uh, hydrogen goes in. We want to split the path. We want to branch it. We want to, what do we want to do? <sighs> Basically, I need hydrogen to go into this. But then it would be nice if I could also then just send hydrogen around this area. Basically, I have to send something over here and it will cool and then I send it back. So I could send hydrogen over here and let it cool and then send it back. But I also have to send hydrogen just straight up into the machine. So yeah, we can split it. Half of it goes into the machine. And then the other half just spins around and turns back around the other direction. Yeah. That makes sense, right? I feel like that's supposed to make sense. But then what do I do when it... Then when it... Oh interesting concept so then when it's done going around here i send it back this way and it rejoins and it, and it goes again but will that make a weird the question is how warm will it get over here i feel like it will only be colder when it's done circulating through here than it still will be when it first arrives. The, the first arrival type of hydrogen is going to be the hottest. I'm not going to send hydrogen around here that had been cooled and that helps cool our, our base down. Like, none of that is going to heat to as hot as the original hydrogen would be. Okay, so I don't think it would be bad. Like, I don't think it will be broken in any regard. Okay. So yeah, then the question is, you have to... Okay, well first, let me... I need to put some tiles down in some of these places where the pipe is going through, just for convenience sake. Okay, so this original path sends hydrogen to the machine. Some of this will also branch off really anywhere. And then we want radiant piping. Um, but that's going to use so many materials that I don't have. I suppose I have enough cobalt. Okay. Cobalt isn't the best material, though. Uh, 
It's not the best material, but I mean, it's what we have the most of it. And it's cold enough over here, right? It's cold enough. Okay. So, we send this sort of, like, just in general around where this machine is. You know, you just want to give it a lot of time near the machine. I might have given it too much time just now. To the, to the point where it is going to be like, oh, it's too cold, cold damage, but whatever. Whoa, 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 okay, no, 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 we don't want all of this to be radiant. Let's back up the radiant piping a little bit. We'll put radiant to about there. And then normal, excuse me, normal, okay, wait, excuse this. Okay, normal pipe goes the rest of the way. Starting from here. And going down, do, 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 do. Do, do. Maybe it should be insulated. <sighs> because that's going to be warm next to it. Whatever. We'll change it later. <laughs> if it's a problem, I'll change it later, okay? Uh, and then a bridge there. A bridge too far. Uh, a bridge there, and then we want it to cycle through here a little bit. Um, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Is the other colony... Let me check here. Let me check this. Oh, wow, I really did make all of it radiant, because that's what makes sense. Oh, I don't want to use that much radiant piping. But it would be the most effective way to do it. The top levels don't actually need to be that cold, though. So maybe normal pipe could have enough of a heat exchange and then right at the bottom that's so like shiny looking right at the bottom is where we will put the radiant pieces but the top layers of the colony we can have not radiant how is that as an idea does that sound kind of okay it sounds kind of okay to me i've had an apothecary down there for how long because <sighs> there's an apothecary in here now my dude does this one have a lot of stuff? Um, can I get rid of this? Like, wouldn't it be better to use the one in here? Doesn't it, it'll like work faster or something? They don't put anything in this one because, because I never thought we had any materials. Okay, stop using this and Make those here. Okay. Good. And then deconstruct this. Okay. Sure. Um. Okay. 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 Iron to steel. Iron to iron to iron. Just make a little bit of that. Maybe we want more steel. I don't know. Do we want more steel? I, I don't know. Uh, how are the pipes doing? Okay. I've been making whatever that stuff is called ceramic so should be able to make some more pipe and i remember from last time i can make one more piece but i can't really see very easily where i just left off remember last time that i said hey if it's still freezing by the time it gets to here that i'm i've simply been pushing the problem down lower and nothing Nothing will be fixed. <sighs> Surely it's got to be fine, right? Soon. Soon it will be fine. Okay. Um, then back to the other colony. Finish setting this up. Okay. Looks like they're setting the hydrogen over. It's already undug. Very good. Using hydrogen gas. They've already got a lot of the radiant pipes in place. We love to see it. Okay. Good. Temperature. Very cold. Good. The pipe is very cold as well. This pipe, once it unfreezes, I will see that this pipe has very cold nothing in it. Gas pipe is empty. Why? Because I was hovering over the wrong one. <laughs> Okay, this hydrogen, once it hits here, it gets very cold. Before that point, it's not too cold just yet. Okay. It's quite warm. Uh, 
Okay. I see all of that. So yeah, basically it looks like just these bottom layers are the hottest. And it doesn't need to be a livable temperature down here. It, but it does need to be like a... So that things don't overheat temperature. And, uh, and across to the edges here, it needs to be so that things don't overheat. But we actually don't want it to be too cold over here, right? Because these things will get upset in a certain temperature. Yeah. Okay, so we gotta be careful. Okay. Um, so for the most part, I say we go with normal pipes and we see where that takes us. So in out there, gas pipe coming through here. Let's go at sort of like a up high level here. We'll bring it around to the edge and then we'll bring it to a Maybe a floor level here. And then... Down one more time. Uh, I guess, yeah, floor level here as well. Maybe don't go all the way to the edge there, because we don't really need that section cooled as much. Whoa. <laughs> and then... This part, there's already so much going on down here. Where is the thing we want to connect it back up to? Over here. Okay, yeah, so it'll go across the bathroom floor, maybe. Uh, okay, okay, so not floor level. Not floor level. Let's bring it a little higher than floor level. Maybe, like, right there would be good. Okay. Okay. Watch and wait, and you will see, you will see. We'll go there. We'll go... Sure, yeah, there. And then we're going to bring it kind of to here. It's not really going down where it's too hot, though. Uh... Okay, okay, okay. It'll dip down. It'll dip down after the bedroom and then also yeah here i actually don't want this to be that low right there either anymore um we'll put it around to that height no 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 okay so this these rooms should get cooling centrally there these this little like, corridor gets it like that and then the water gets it like that good 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 the bedroom gets it a little bit there um, you know, there are a few sections we don't want to be too cold as well. Like, it's not nice for them to have chilly surroundings when they're sleeping. We can so we can dip down just to here. It's as low as we can comfortably go before we start making things extra complicated. Bridge over that way. Bridge over there and there. Swoop up around this section. The stove will get a little bit of cooling from there, maybe. And then this one will get a little bit of cooling from here, but not really. We can add radiant piping in the sections that we think it would be uh, beneficial to. Um, oh, okay, the double bridge, they don't like, of course. They don't like that. Um, okay, well, in, out. And we'll go up, do an in, out there. And then this also needs to be an, whoops, an in, out there. Okay, this is looking pretty good, I'd say. Like I said, I add radiant where I feel like it is needed after the fact. Um, and it's going to get... The coldest is when it's up here. So like I said, we definitely don't want radiant here, probably. And then as it gets lower, it will have warmed up a little bit, maybe? Or maybe it won't even have changed that much because it's not radiant. But then we might want to add some radiant ones down here or whatever. We shall see. Okay. Now I just have to hope that the flow of gases goes the right way. And I would I would assume that because this is saying everything should be going this direction, that they'll know not to send it this way. Because the, the bridges are, are pointed the other direction. So, yeah. They're still not splitting it between here and here. 
Okay, there. Now they are. Perfect. Okay. It's quite cold. Quite cold. Now, I suppose I there will be a concern as to whether the gases are moving fast enough for them to not freeze. Um, because there it is always getting new gas through here. And it is using some gas. But then there's also the other thing. So eventually... Okay, okay, okay. I can make the hydrogen one a closed circuit once it fills up. But if it's a closed circuit, how do you get it to move? I never, I, I, I've actually never thought about that. I don't think, either you can't do that or I don't, I don't know how. You would have to have it like, maybe if it goes, if there's a reservoir attached to it, it will, it will always want to empty out of the reservoir and then go back into the reservoir. Like, maybe I have to have, like, one empty pipe's worth of space and a reservoir, and then it will fill up the reservoir and empty out the reservoir constantly because there will always be one free space for it to move forward again. I guess, probably. So, yeah, maybe we can have a closed circuit and then we don't need... We will only need to bring hydrogen over for the thingy bobber and then the other thing will just cycle through over there where it's cold. But maybe that's a bad idea because maybe it would be better or more efficient the way I'm doing it now because the temperature shift will be different. I, I don't know. Some things it's like I, I can't figure it out or like it's too, you know, it's too hard to think about before I'm just like I'm seeing it working. I don't know enough about it beforehand, so okay, okay. If they just get the rest of these pipes done, then we can see it moving through. And I, ev I feel like everything's gonna be so cold that they're gonna be mad at me. But maybe not because it's not radiant. Maybe not because it's not radiant. I'm sure that they're glad they have something to do. <sighs> they love having something to do over here. Um. Okay, so if this works, then I go, I'm going back to the other place and working on stuff for them. Because do they have any other problems right now? I mean, I guess more food would still be good. I mean, they're doing well, but there still is like not very many farm plots here in general. There aren't many farm plots here in general. So we could grow some more stuff. I haven't decided what else there is to grow yet, though. Um, what else is there for you guys to have growing? I don't know. I think they're almost done. How much more? Okay, this chunk right here is pretty much it. And then, you know, a little bit right there. Basically, the, the third, fourth, the fourth and third floor. I don't know why the floors go down, but I just counted it that way. Okay, okay, okay. One tiny little bit extra. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Look at how we have a pool of polluted water in there, guys. That's exciting, right? <laughs> okay. <gasps> yes. So. It's already... Wow. It's already quite warm. Okay, okay, but what's coming through now is not. It's very cold. Okay, okay, it's very cold. I'm gonna wait for it to get all the way through. And stuff over here had extra time to get cold because, like, that original, that initial point, because it had been sitting there. But what's coming through now is going to be, like, it just passes by. Passes by, and by the time it gets to the end of the radiant piping, it's, like, negative 20. Okay. Then by the time it gets here, it's a negative 20. We still haven't made it down to the bottom, though, so, you know, I want to see what, it, well, like, a full, full cycle is looking like. New printables available again already? Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, it looks like it's going to join up perfectly just like we wanted. And then everything, like... So, basically, this is now in, like, the 30 degree range. Well, that's the beginning of the path. Once again, that's the beginning of the path. Ooh, okay, so now it's moving so quickly that we have smaller... We have smaller pockets. That's going to change things as well. 
Okay. And then, yeah, see, this goes through here, and it's at, like, 15 degrees. And so when it gets all the way up here, it's it's much colder already. So now it's going to be extra cold when it goes through. So, but, like, half of that is getting consumed, and then half of it is going this way. And, like, half of what is coming through here is warm, and then half of what's coming through here is cold. So it's an interesting mixture of things that's happening. Um, I actually kind of do like it if it's not constant like that. That might help us. Let's see how it is looking. Uh, okay. It didn't seem like it made much of a change at all uh, with them not being radiant pipes. There maybe is a slight change, but for the most part, it doesn't look like too much of a change. So now I can add just moments. Moments of radiant piping here and there to just infuse... Sure, take, take the medicine. I... <laughs> I'm sure we can always use that. Let's just infuse some little pockets of cold throughout. We won't do big swaths of it. We'll just do a bit here and there. So, like, let's just do, like, uh, one, two. One, two. One, two. You know? Like, let's just do little things of one, two here and there. And maybe a few more over around this section because it is indeed where the plants are. And then another one further down this way. Having the water being cold is always a good thing. Having the incubator being cold is maybe not a good thing. So I'll put the one, two a little bit further away. <laughs> and then one, two up in the bedroom. And then one, two down here. But also one, two down there. And then maybe like one, two over here. And then lastly, one, two on the end of our journey. Let's see how much... That changes things. Okay, we've already got some in place. Wow, they did that so quickly. Okay. Um, how is that changing things? That seems to be making a bigger impact. See how there's like pockets of cold or oxygen now? Yes, that's making a bigger impact. The question is going to be whether it makes too big of an impact. If it makes too big of an impact, we're going to have to make some sort of regulatory changes. I'm either going to have to regulate how much hydrogen goes through, or the temperature at which the hydrogen goes through, or something. Or how often the hydrogen goes through. Those are all options that we have. But I mean, it does need a burst of cool in general to start anyway. You know, and I could do that with the other base too. With how, um, did I get the thing yet? I did, it was curative tablets. Over here, everything gets so cold. I don't have to make it all radiant piping. I mean, it looks pretty nice right now. <sighs> I don't have to make it all radiant piping, but, uh... So this has been filled up and then it stopped. And we didn't empty any more down there. Wow, look how much we lowered the water level down there. Good job, that was helpful. Um, how's this going? It's dormant right now, anyway. Okay, good. So I won't worry about running any more water through right now. The kiln is not working right now, either. And, and... hey yo! Oh, cold damage. I still saw it. Yeah, it looks to be like we're mainly just pushing the problem further down. Every time... Oh, wait, have they not fixed... No. They changed out all the pipes I told them to. Like, these ones weren't in the negatives before, and they are now. So, I think I really do have to get insulated all the way down to here. <sighs> insulated has to be all the way until it's not in the cold zone anymore, if we want to stop that problem from happening. I believe. Which means we still need more ceramic. Am I running out of materials? No, not yet. <sighs> okay, then no worries. Let's keep making it. Let's keep making it. And am I running out of coolness? No, it's not too warm over there. Okay. Good. Because I don't like there being water everywhere. It's quite annoying. Uh, water here. Clean it up. Water here. Clean it up. I don't actually feel like that's where the water is coming from, though, because there would be water here. Right? So water keeps spilling over here from something... But this thing is surely not broken. 
it, it doesn't make sense for it to be broken. Polluted water goes in, polluted water gets filtered out. Anything else goes this way. This is all clean water. This is all polluted water or clean water. So it's surely not that, but that's what it looks like is leaking based off of the pathing of the, where the water is showing up. I don't have time to just stare at it all day and be able to actually tell though. <sighs> okay. And then yeah, how's it going down here? Is it weird? Is it weird what is happening over here? Like, are we running out of hydrogen and stuff? Yeah, I mean, we're running out, running out. Definitely. Ooh, okay, research complete. Is that, is that another rocket thing? Oh, yes! <gasps> Ooh, that's fun. Okay, the solar panel modules. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we are running out, quote-unquote, of hydrogen gas over here just because the pump is not up high enough. Well... And really, because this is blocked, because it's overpowered. I mean, overpressured. Can this leave? Thank you. Okay. So if this was not overpressured, there wouldn't really be a problem with the placement the way it is just yet. Um. Huh. It's just that, like, okay, we really do want some automation over here. Because we don't need this thing to constantly consume all of the hydrogen we send over and and make everything run out. We don't need that. It's cold enough over here. Right? <laughs> so yeah, it's nice for this thing to produce stuff, but like it actually can stop for a while. None of this has any automation attached to it though. Ugh. Okay. So what could I automate? These outputs don't even have anything. So I'd have to simply automate a valve and a sensor and connect it to the pipe. Basically, when the sensor gets to a certain temperature, which would be warm, quote unquote warm, then the valve can open back up and therefore they will start consuming hydrogen again. The problem with that is that then we have hydrogen sitting in the pipes that is cold. So I would want it to actually use up all the hydrogen anywhere where it's cold and I would want to make the valve be in a warm section, probably directly down here. Okay, but the sensor has to be way up there. Got it? Okay. So gas shut off is probably what we want. That connects to an automation grid and automatically turns gas flow on or off. Okay. I want this. Overheat temperature is minus 20, but it's not going to be that hot over there, is it? Maybe I shouldn't make it out of lead. <laughs> I'll make it out of copper. Or whatever this is. What did I select copper so then what is this oh iron right okay <laughs> um we're going to build this input output right here is that gonna be confusing right here i don't know if they'd be getting confused by it being right next to the thing yeah it doesn't seem like they would i know it doesn't seem like it but i can never tell with these things so we put that right there, and then we use the scissors to do that, and then that's perfectly set up, right? Input output. Perfect. That has to have a sensor, which I, I believe maybe will be an automation. Okay, it also has to have power. Okay, wait, wait, I can set up the power now. Wire, power, oh god, there's actually no power wires close to this. That's surprising for once. Um, do, do, do. What, what power wire do we want this on? This one, uh, potentials 1085. This one, the potential is 1543. Okay, let's go up then to this one. Uh, wire. Up like that. Okay, cancel this piece. Perfect. 
the wire is getting put in place. And then, yeah, automation is it is it here? Gas element sensor. No, no, no. We want, like, the temperature one. Atmo. So I think that is going to be in uh, ventilation itself. Gas pipe element sensor. Gas pipe thermo sensor. Uh, yeah. This will do. Gas pipe thermo sensor. Uh... No, this won't do. <sighs> oh, high pressure gas vent. I didn't know that this existed. Interesting. I might want to make that at my other place. Okay, but um, what am I? What am I doing? What am I thinking? So the reason that this is not necessarily helpful to me is because this is sensing the element of a gas within a pipe. Which, if this works properly, and they shut, they shut it off, and then everything else will finish going through the system and into the thermonullifier. Eventually, like, the system would round out so that it goes into the thermonullifier. And then it won't, it won't work anymore. Which I think is why it makes sense to have a closed system. Uh, yeah. Basically, the closed system of the radiant uh, cooling, which would have hydrogen gas in it, will be cycling and, and, and moving no matter what. And then the other system that just determines whether hy new hydrogen gas gets taken from our other base will only activate if the gas within this system starts to not be cold enough anymore. And then we can use it. Otherwise, I wanted something that would sense the temperature of the gas in the air not in a pipe because the pipes like i just said will eventually empty out uh, okay so i guess this one but the ambient temperature it's never going to be that warm maybe i don't even need this thing what if just the coldness over here is cold enough it's not it wouldn't be forever it's better to have the thing it is so i don't know it, it seems helpful to me we just put a big old tank over here. Yes. We have the input and output needs to be just switched to the slightest bit. Um, basically, we go gas pipe. Uh, um, how do I do this? How do I do this? Okay, first things first. Disconnect this. So how much is in there right now? So we have all of this. We have this section here. We have this path here. We have this path here. We have... This. Okay. That's a lot. We're going to lose all of this. This will not go in here anymore. Uh, we can always infuse it with more if we need to. But, I mean, that seems like a plenty enough... Plenty. Is that plenty? Oh, wait, no, we're going to lose all of this. This is confusing. Basically, it's only going to have what is right here. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, okay. It needs to fill a little bit first. Um, ventilation. Re put that in place just for a second because I, I can't, I can't think, man. Um, radiant there okay deconstruct gas pipes here for a moment okay uh sure then what i want to do is i want to split the pipe not where the output is so deconstruct these ones as well okay Yes. This is all going to make sense. Oh, but everyone's sleeping. 
It's all gonna make sense and it's gonna work and, and it's gonna be good, right? Okay, what else do I have here? Power outlet fitting. Uh, pulse power from battery modules and rocket engines. Uh, rocket port extension payload. Where's the other thing? Where's the solar panel? Oh, it's a module. It's a module. It's a module. So I can't see it right now. I have to go to the rocket. I will. I will in a moment. Um, let me just get this taken care of because I think I know what to do and how to do it. So, like, don't mess me up, guys. Oh, wait, actually. No, I see exactly what you're talking about. Game. Mind. Whoever's talking to me right now. <sighs> the fates. I don't know. You want me to do that, and then you want me to do this, and that makes so much more sense. Yes. Okay. Perfect. But that middle path we can definitely deconstruct. Yes. Okay. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're making everything more clear to me. Oh, I accidentally had them deconstruct that one still when I didn't need them to. I didn't know that there was a deconstruct order on that one. Yeah, go there and then split this here. Right? Yeah. Split this there. This is going to be getting two inputs, which is so weird. But if they just split it properly, then it'll all work. Don't send that backwards. Send it in. Well, I guess it can't go in yet because there's no reservoir there. Okay, but once the reservoir is there, they'll start filling it, right? I think they'll start filling it. Uh, I know, I know. It's weird, it's weird. But they're building it, they're building it. Ready, aim, fire. Come on, they're building it, they're building it. And then, so then it empties out through here. And then when it comes back up this way. Oh, that's still not going to work. We're going to need two paths. Dang it. How am I going to... No, yeah, this will work. Oh, it would have worked the whole time. No, it wouldn't have. It would have? It wouldn't have. I'm confused. It's too- everything's too far away. I can't see it. I need to see it all at once. Basically... Okay. It's like I'm trying to think about what's going to happen, but I want to just see it happening. For real. What's going to happen is there's going to be hydrogen gas in here. It empties out and goes throughout the circuit. And then it goes back up to the top and, and fills back into the bucket. I need that path to not be the same path that this brings stuff up to the hydrogen thing with. Because if it's the same path as the hydrogen one, then if the hydrogen one cuts off the supply, eventually, because this splits 50-50 between going to the reservoir or going to the hydrogen thing and getting consumed, eventually you would run out because it would, it would, you wouldn't, you'd only bring half back to the thing every time. I want it all to go back to the container every time. I don't want it to split 50-50 between this. I need it to split 50-50 for now because we're just trying to fill the thing up. But eventually I, I don't want it to. So I need, I need the circuit to still get up here to this radiant piping. But I need it to not connect with this one. So like I could close the loop like further down, but that's that doesn't make sense. It still needs to travel all the way back up there, but just not go to this thing. So I need a third path of pipes. Unfortunately. By doing this. But I think in the long run, it makes the system work much better. Right? So... Uh... I didn't really want to have to go underneath this thing. But I think I'm going to have to. So... <sighs> because my other option is to go up with this 
and then have a pipe go through like this pipe would actually just go over this thing and then just change this piece right here but I feel like that still makes everything kind of messy we can go here and then two paths here so like starting here and there there are two paths okay I guess that makes some sense like I'd like to avoid having a whole bunch of bridges if I don't need them we are running out of resources a little bit I don't want to use sandstone that's for sure um, did you guys want to dig out some more stuff? I don't know where they got all the mafic rock from. I don't think I've been making them dig in space. It doesn't really seem like there is much mafic rock in space, so I don't know why they ha we had such a- Oh, in this section, there's a whole bunch. Ah. Uh, okay. Dig some more of this out. We need more storage space anyways, and we need more rust- Anyways, and salt and sulfur are also good um, things to have. So you can dig out like this whole channel here. And we'll probably be fine. I'm working so hard on making this place livable when we might actually literally just need to evacuate at some point. Uh-oh, we don't have any suits here. Okay. Repair. Both of these. Perfect. Okay. We can do that. Sure, sure, sure. So, yeah. I'm just working step by step to get this making sense. This can go sort of through uh, uh, through along here. And over this way. And it will connect there. Whereas this path from before will connect here. And we're going to have to go do-do-do-do-do underneath everything. But if we do that, that means we lose this sweet wheat grain that is naturally growing here. But I'd have to- this would have to be a piece of tile. Wait, so maybe we're not going to do that. No, we're not going to do that. Because instead what we're doing is we're moving this other part up one. The gas pipe here is going up. And we'll lose that piece. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, no, what, what happened? <sighs> it's messy, it's messy, okay. There we go, so that's gonna be like that, whereas this is gonna be like this, and then that's not gonna be like that, it's gonna be like this. Yes, you see what I'm- you see? You see. And so then, I don't even know which of these actually it would make sense to deconstruct right now. I mean, to disconnect right now, it's maybe a bad idea to be disconnecting them already. They need to be still connected for a second. Uh, I'm going to disconnect that. But I just, I'll connect something back up when I find out what it is that needs to be connected back up that will make sense. Right now, it's easiest to, to, to be able to tell the pathing by just deconstructing, disconnecting things right now. Um, what have we got here? Do do. Is it something super awesome again? Ooh, the epitome of fast fashion. <laughs> That's pretty cute. It's it's quite bright. It's quite bold. But it is different. And I do like things that are, you know, sign significantly different. Like, they make an impact. It's not like, you know, a pair of white gloves. And I'm like, okay, no one can even really ever tell that anyone's wearing those. But thanks. <laughs> Okay. When they finish this path, will this empty out? Because if this empties out, then I can deconstruct it more easily. Um, I don't think it's going to empty out, but it'd be a nice... Yeah, I think it'll start splitting at 50-50. Um, like, I can tell them to empty the pipes, but it's they keep filling up anyway. So I think we're just going to get a pocket of hydrogen in here. Unfortunately, it's just going to have to dissipate over time. Where it's going to dissipate to, I, I don't know. It's going to go up to the hatches because there's no air, air there are no airflow tiles above them, but whatever. Deconstruct gas pipes. Uh, it isn't even doing a 50-50 split. It's going the opposite direction. 
Oh, because all of that is emptying out. Oh, right. Okay. Well, we don't need that to empty out. Uh... Oh, perfect. That was fast. Okay. Is there a lot of hydrogen over here? Oh, no. There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of dirty air is what there is. <laughs> My god. How cold have I been making it by doing all this? Okay. It, I haven't <laughs> frozen everything accidentally. Okay. Um, well, what have we got going on now? Our initial pipe that sends hydrogen to the thing. Perfect. It is still splitting 50-50 between here, but that's fine for now. This isn't even filled up yet. Okay, the end of our looping path is going, okay, almost to where we want it. We simply want to put a bridge over here, and then we'll go up this way. I think we can officially disconnect this piece. Uh, hello? Oh, okay. Disconnect that piece, and then also, we don't actually need this anymore, either. Uh, so we're going to deconstruct this little nugget there, and we're going to put one singular bridge. We managed to set up the whole thing with just using one bridge. That's going to go over that input port output port so the gas that comes back will hop over this and it will meet up with this pipe that will cool it all and then it goes either back into the reservoir and or because there's still room for gas flow to be happening it will go through here if i feel as if this isn't enough hydrogen gas going through the pipe system i can reconnect this up momentarily to supplement it that's what we're looking at right now. And so the only gas that is consumed will be when this, when I feel like it's no longer making the gas cold enough. So right now this is all kind of just being used anyway, but um, it is shut off for the future. So now I just need to put my sensor in place. Okay. Automation. Um... Um, automation. No, ventilation. I do want to use one of the pipe sensors. Gas pipe thermo sensor. Build it out of this. I don't see any pipes. Oh, okay. Like, why do they not have it on a pipe overlay? They have it on the, the, uh, whatchamacallit, other type of overlay. Okay, so there aren't many places that I can actually fit it because there's objects here in the way. So somewhere along this upward path, I feel like if we go the furthest along the path, that makes the most sense. Because even, like, I can't go any further. But if, if it gets to here and it's not that cold, then we want to make the thermal nullifier work again. Yes, that makes sense. Um, and so then we just need a good bit of metal. Yeah, we need a good bit of metal refined metal in order to connect that pipe up. So which one of these makes metal for me? I could just have them send some metal over, but um, I don't, I don't have very much metal at home either. So I guess we have to just use the cobalt ore. Okay. I don't, I don't want to keep using this, but have I dug out any more, or am I going to dig out any more cobalt ore? Not really. So there's a little bit of iron. <sighs> um, okay. I didn't even have to dig this. We can dig this. There's something growing on it, but it's not like we ever grab that or anything, do we? I don't know. You could take that piece of cobalt ore. You could take these pieces of cobalt ore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Okay. Sure. This'll maybe work. <laughs> so, try and make this path streamlined if you can. Um has to go all the way up there. Okay. So, I guess you're just going to have to hug the corner as much as you can, right? That's like the actual way that it is being the shortest distance. 
I guess. I don't feel like that is. I don't know. Like, I know diagonal lines are the shortest distance, but if you have to keep going do 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 do, does that is that really the shortest distance? It's the same, right? Isn't it kind of the same no matter what? I think it's the same. Because, <sighs> like, I'm going over laterally the same amount as if I just did this, and then I'm going down the same amount as if I just did this. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, well, we managed to have enough cobalt. That's surprising. Um, okay, wait, wait. There's still so many more things. I gotta get another one of these. Um, da ding. Da ding. Da ding. Okay, eggplant atmo gloves. Oh, they're for an atmo suit, so that's kind of fun, but I kind of like the glittery ones better, and I still haven't even used those types. Um, and then what is here? Ethanol. I don't need that, but sure. We have it as an emergency supply to jumpstart something if we need to, like this down here, maybe. I suppose that's a good idea. These say awaiting delivery, but no one delivered them. <laughs> Guys, hello. Could you maybe deliver these? Wouldn't that be helpful if you delivered them, seeing as they're awaiting delivery? Um, okay, well, this is just, this is quite exciting. Let me set this. So, uh... You're reading it at negative 17 degrees. I feel like that's plenty cold enough. Like, we don't need this thing to keep working if it's still making it to negative 17 degrees. I'd say if it makes it to... Send a green signal. The temperature is above? No, if the temperature is... Yeah, above. Uh, negative... 10. No. Below. Above. <sighs> if it was negative 9 degrees, I'd be like, well, I wish we could make it a little colder than that. <sighs> and so that is above negative 10 degrees, because it's negatives. So yeah. If it's above negative 10 degrees, then, then let more hydrogen through. Yeah. And we can, we can watch and see if we need to make it colder at some point, but... Because for now, yeah, when it gets around to down here, it's around the negative 10, 12, that sort of range. And I feel like that's maybe helpful enough for now. I mean, it, it has made their environment pretty nice. And then the lower parts maybe aren't that cool. But I don't think anything is necessarily in danger. Uh, things are at like 40 degrees, around like 35, 40. Okay, it's, I mean, it's, it's nearing scorching. No, it's not. This is confusing because this says temperatures reaching 36 degrees. Okay, so if it's, if it gets to 36, it is hot, but it'd have to get to 99 to be scorching. Okay, okay, so it's hot down here, but we're fine. And then where they sleep, it's not even hot. It's warm. It's warm where they're sleeping. Warm? Yes. Okay. It's like the low end of warm. I think that that is acceptable. So they just have a few more pieces of wire to put in place. And then this whole system will be complete, I think. And I did an actual legitimate, like good quote-unquote setup I think um, let me check this one more time because now as you can see this has emptied out but our whole system so there's like a there's a pause and then it, it starts circulating everything through again by the time it comes back it's around 17 degrees by the time it goes through here it's about negative 17 that's looking pretty good to me um, yeah I can monitor that over time but that looks that looks pretty fine and dandy and then this is sending a red signal. Perfect. So they're not grabbing any more of this gas. Um, I didn't want to go there. I wanted to go here. And let's see. Um, the only thing I'd say is that if they want... Oh, well, they still have this. Okay. They still have that, at least. Does this ever become not overpressured enough that we can actually... I should just switch it out, right? High pressure gas vent. 
Uh, but I would need to use steel, right? Oh no, this is gold amalgam. Oh. But I didn't have gold amalgam just then, did I? That was copper? Yeah. Oh, I need gold. Why doesn't gold even show up here? Huh. Well, I can use iron. Iron. Oh, copper works as well. I can use anything that I want. Okay. So we deconstruct this and we put the other type of vent there so that this won't ever be stopped because of the high pressure. Because honestly, it will only get lower pressure if they'll let me use the pump. Like, using the pump would only help to make it more low pressure. So, um, it's like a win-win if they'll just let me do this. There you go. And, yeah. I think I actually set up a legitimately good system, but I'm not too sure just yet. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Last but not least. Uh, well. I wanted to set up, whoa. Whoa. Are you telling me that this is how tall I could make the rocket? Oh, no. You're just showing that because of all these thingy bobbers? It didn't used to do that here. <sighs> I don't know, but I was like, it would be nice if I could... If I could look at the modules here. You know, we got some new ones. See what we've got going on. Maybe build something here. But I, I still don't even know... Like, why do I need the solar panel modules in the battle mod battery modules? They don't ever let me read about anything beforehand, and like, yeah, it'd be nice to have power to it, but like, only if I want to put things on the inside that need power, right? Like, for now, I don't actually need that. For now, all I need is... the confidence to get to a further... You can check the star map from here. The confidence to get to a further place. Or no, to get to Lefilios, honestly, right? Lefilios? Lefilios, yeah. <laughs> I just need to be able to actually land here. I need the confidence to land here. That's what I need. To land there and build a thing. Okay, fine. We'll probably work on that next time. Um, We'll probably work on that next time. Okay. So, we had, like, one big, big, big project today. We did do that project. And now we basically are probably going to work, yeah, work on work on the rocket again. Um, go, 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 as far as they'll let you go. Okay, that's probably as far as they'll let you go. So, yeah, um, that's cool. I'm glad that they... Oh my god, I have zero sand. What did I use all my sand for? Now I'm scared. Why did I use all my sand? I have zero sand. Why, why, why? Oh, well, honestly, just because I've never really had that much sand, I just keep having to dig it out, right? So why is this sand? And it's tan. But then this is all sand and it's pink. Like, I get that sand can be different colors in real life. I'm just wondering, like, what compelled them to make sand two different colors in the game? Isn't that kind of confusing? I guess things like copper and stuff can show up as two different colors as well, which during, like, depending on the different biomes. Like, here it looks pinker, whereas other places it looks more orange. Okay. I understand, but it is still interesting. Um, okay. Well, then we're gonna need to dig out more sand. Were there sweetles over here or something? Why did I have this mesh door? I don't know. I could put some tiles there. Plastic tiles to help move it along a little bit faster. I have a lot of plastic. So the more places that I use plastic, the faster our commutes will be. Which is always good. We're still spilling water. But we never have water in- Oh, okay, we do. Okay. So I believe it probably is all just coming from up here. And that mystery is- not necessarily solved because it was already solved, but like I feel better about my thoughts on the mystery. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, I believe we're done for today. I need to really stop like checking every last tiny little detail and just say we're done because we're just we got to be done, right? But like, there's other things to do, you know. There's still more things to do. 
Just make it all plastic. Make it all plastic. Honestly, wait, you would put the one under the door as plastic as well because it is still something that they run over. Why is this door higher? Why is... Okay, wait, here's a question. If this is solid ground, and these are airflow tiles, and this door is higher, then water can't have been leaking down this corridor. Because this door is higher. So how is water getting from here to down there? You're telling me that that's surfboard water? I don't think so. Unless that surfboard makes a really big splash. I don't know what that water is coming from then. I take back the solved mystery. <sighs> I don't know. But okay, yeah, anyway, whatever. Uh, sure, yes, everything. Next time, rocket, probably. But heating, cooling, whatever. Good here. Impressive. Hopefully. Plants are starting to grow again. Which is the main, main, main thing that we needed to happen. To, like, come out of this. To have the plants growing again. And that is happening. So, okay. That. <gasps> wait. 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 Uh. Grub fruit. Can't you guys make more grub fruit? Oh, you can make more of these. Grub fruit. Have you just been eating the grub fruit? Like, clearly it's been harvested, because the last time I checked, these were at, like, 95. So do they just harvest the grub fruit and then eat it? No, 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 no. I want you to make... Grub fruit preserve. Forever. With the sucrose that you're getting, and with the grub fruit. Yeah. Okay. But anyway... <laughs> Um, I suppose that is it for today. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye now.